Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Marisa Diaz. And on this channel, I share a lot of information about nutrition, weight loss, recipes, etc. And I began this channel because I actually, um, if you haven't seen my story, which if you haven't, I'll add the video right up here. But I started my own weight loss journey about two years ago. So in this channel, I share a lot of information that I learned throughout that journey. And then I became a certified nutritionist and I learned a ton more. So then I'm just here pretty much to share with you all the information that I wish I had known at the beginning. And then also a lot of information that I've learned um, through my entire journey until now. So since my journey started two years ago, I was able to lose a little bit over 50 pounds in the first year. And then I wasn't able to maintain and keep losing a little bit more. So in today's video, I want to show with you five changes you can make to your everyday life they're very simple changes nothing drastic so it's just five simple changes you can make to your everyday life that will help you with weight loss and with just feeling better and healthier in general the very first thing that I want to share with you uh, that's going to make a really big difference in your life is going to be drinking water I know that might sound really easy and a lot of people are already drinking a lot of water but i know that for a lot of people it's just not something that you're used to doing and water has so many benefits but for the purpose of this video we're just going to talk about the weight loss benefits so water will actually help you clean your body and just like get rid of all unnecessary things so that's one and then also a lot of times when let's say you just ate or you ate not too long ago and you start feeling hungry or craving sometimes you're not really hungry you're actually thirsty so what I suggest is next time you're feeling that go to the kitchen or just go and get a cup of water drink that and if wait up maybe five to ten minutes and if after that you're still hungry okay then go and get a snack but many times you will realize that you were actually never hungry you were just thirsty also if you drink a big cup of water before every meal it can help you prevent overeating because it can actually give you a sense of fullness so doing that is something that i actually do all the time and it's really really helpful now something you can do to help with your water intake is buying a bottle of water so i actually always have with me here at home this um, this bottle of water that I just carry around everywhere and I'm just drinking water all day all day all day all day and I make sure to drink two of those when I'm at home and then at work I also have a water bottle which I also make sure to drink at least two to three before leaving work so that's just something that also will help you with your water intake the next change you can make to your lifestyle would be watch what you drink in this case I am talking specifically about things like sodas, juices, or your fancy coffees that you get at Starbucks or any of those coffee shops. So with sodas, there's a ton of sugar in soda, so there can be a lot of calories. But something that you can do, a swap that you can do really easy to help with that is just switching to diet soda. Um, so there's a ton of options. I'm not a big soda fan, so I don't drink soda at all, but I have heard that Diet Coke, Pepsi Zero, and Mountain Dew Zero are really good. So maybe give that a try. And you can even start with maybe just if you have three sodas a day, switch it to one per day, have that one be diet or um, things like that. So that's what I would suggest. Same thing, I mean, with juices, it's a little bit different. Juices have a lot of sugar too. So I would suggest just cutting juices completely and then just going to like a diet soda. Now, something that you can do to substitute juices, which is not exactly the which is not the exact same thing, but something that I actually enjoy a lot are flavored sparkling waters. So there's a ton of different brands now that are doing them. They're normally zero calorie. Make sure you're getting a zero calorie one because sometimes there are some that they do add sugar to them. So make sure you're getting one that's zero calories. For example, LaCroix or Waterloo, those two are my personal favorite, but there's, like I said, a ton of different brands that are doing them now. And now coffee. So black coffee is great. I mean, drink as much black coffee as you want. Black coffee actually is also um, kind of like a hunger suppressant. So that one's great. But let's say when you go to Starbucks and you get a latte macchiato, 
that has 220 calories. And if you compare that to a cup of black coffee that has two calories, that's right. Latte Macchiato has 220 calories and a cup of black coffee has two calories. So, I mean, I get it. They don't taste the same, but come on, we're talking about 218 calorie difference. Now, there are things you can do to spice up your regular black coffee that will not add any calories. There's sugar-free and calorie-free syrups. There's uh, zero calorie creamers. So there's a ton of other things that you can add. You can even just add a splash of fat-free milk or almond milk, which will have a little bit more calories, but still nothing compared to 220 calories. So there's little things that you can do. I'll actually add on the description below the syrups and the creamers that I personally like that are zero calories and that help a lot. Um, I am currently right now doing um, kind of like an experiment with intermittent fasting, which I'm going to do it for two weeks and I will make a video of it. Um, so I've been drinking a lot of coffee and these are the things that uh, I've been adding to the coffee to make it so much more interesting than just black coffee. So the third thing that I wanna talk to you about is adding more fruits and vegetables to your meals. Um, I know that a lot of people are not a big fans of this and for whichever reasons. I know that me two years ago, the biggest reason why I wasn't a big fan of having fruits and vegetables is just because of how much work they are. You know, it's just so much easier to just pick up something that's processed and that is ready to eat or that you could just put in the microwave than having to wash them, chop them, cook them. They go bad really quickly, etc. So I'm going to tell you um, these little things that have just made my veggie and fruit intake so much more easier and enjoyable. So for example, with vegetables, um, of course, before I go any further, fresh fruits and vegetables are the best thing ever, okay? I'm not saying um, that they're not or that you should, you should not have fresh fruits and vegetables. If you can, I mean, definitely do that and have fresh fruits and vegetables. But what I'm gonna share with you is things that you can do that are more convenient and quick to help you at least eat more fruits and vegetables. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, um, what you can do with veggies is you can buy frozen veggies. So I was really skeptical of this at first because I was like, oh, what is that even going to taste? It's going to be all mushy or, but it's not. It's really not. There are a lot of brands now that sell frozen vegetables that actually you can just put in the microwave for like three minutes and they already have like spices and stuff. So literally all you do is just put it in the microwave for like three minutes. You open the bag and you serve them. I mean, what's easier than that? And they have a lot of different veggies, a lot of different seasonings. And the great thing also about this is that they don't go bad as fast, right? They can be in the freezer for months. And then whenever you know, let's say you are going to try your best and have fresh fruits and vegetables, but let's say one day you run out or you just don't feel like cooking them, easy. Instead of having something processed or chips or something like that, you can go ahead, grab your bag from the freezer, put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes, and then that's done. Easy. So that's something you can do to add more, um, to add more veggies to your daily intake. And then for fruits, um, there's a lot of grocery stores now that have pre-chopped fruits, which are great, like watermelon, cantaloupe, mango. So there's a lot of um, pre-chopped fruits that you can find on grocery stores. Or there's so many fruits that are so easy to eat, like apples, grapes, bananas, berries. So try and get those fruits that, of course, you enjoy, and then that you can also uh, easily just grab and eat. Um, the great thing about fruits also and veggies is that you don't have to just add them to your three meals. You can use them as a snack also. So that's something great. Now, if you're having trouble um, getting a lot of like veggie and fruits uh, in your day, you can always do a smoothie. You can always buy frozen fruits and vegetables that then you can add into a smoothie. You can even add a little bit of protein and then you have a delicious smoothie with fruits, vegetables, 
and a little bit of protein. Now, the next thing that I want to uh, suggest is that you move a little bit more than usual. Now, this can of course be adding a walk to your day, you know, going on a 10 minute walk, going on a five minute walk, going on a 15 minute walk. If you don't go on walks at all, maybe start with five minutes. So that's something you can do. Now, if you don't wanna be that drastic and be like, I don't wanna have to put shoes on and go outside just to go and walk around the neighborhood, totally fine. Something that you can do is take the stairs. Just take the stairs. Whenever there's the option of either taking the elevator or taking the stairs, of course, as long as you're not going to the 20th floor or 10th floor, if it's one, two, maybe even three floors, go right ahead. That's something you can do. You can start taking the stairs. It doesn't have to be every time. It can be maybe you can start with once a day and do that for maybe one or two weeks and then add it to two times a day, etc. cetera. Um, you can do that instead of taking the elevator. You can do that instead of taking the escalator. So it's just something small that you can do that's just going to add more steps to your day. Um, something else that you can do is park your car further right so if you're going to work or to the grocery store or to the mall to the gym anywhere park your car as far as you can i mean that's manageable that's walkable just park a little bit further than usual and then just walk to your destination so that's just two little things that you can add that will help you get more steps in and moving more than you would have been moving before now the last thing that i want to talk to you guys about is stop eating when you're full so i don't know about you but i was raised in mexico and in mexico you do not get up from the table until you're done with your meal okay you do not you're not allowed to you sit there and you eat your entire plate before you can get up um, you were, I, we were also told that if you're going to someone else's house, right, and you leave food on the plate, that's rude. That means that you didn't like the food, that means that their food was terrible, and you're being rude. We were also told if you're going to someone else's house, especially your grandma's, and they ask you if you want a little bit more, you are not allowed to say no. Sometimes, even if you say no, they're still going to give you more. So. I wish, I really wish I had not been taught that as a kid because as I grew up, I got used to just eating everything that was in front of me. I was not listening to my body. I was not listening to my body telling me I'm full, please stop. I would just see there's food, there's still food in front of me. So I would eat, 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 eat. And then before even realizing I was super full, I was uncomfortable. And I don't know, I didn't even really enjoy it. Like I just felt awful afterwards, but that's just in my head. You, you also don't let food go to waste, right? Which is really important. I totally agree. So what I do now is I'm really realistic with what, I'm, what I eat. And even though I'm really hungry, I know that I'm hungry right now, but as soon as I start eating, that won't be the case anymore. So I'm just really careful with my portions. And then also, let's say you go to a restaurant, right? This is a big one for restaurants because in restaurants, you normally have the portions that they give you are really, really big. So what I do is I, first of all, I drink my full cup of water before starting my meal. And then I eat really slowly try to eat slowly. I know that sometimes that's not easy. I'm one of those people that I actually eat really fast, but I'm really self-conscious about it. So I try to eat slowly. And as soon as I feel that I'm full, even a tiny bit of like, oh, I don't know if I can have another bite, I completely stop. And then if it's a restaurant, I ask for a to-go box and then I bring it home. My dogs I know would love it. So that's just something that I do. So just keep that in mind. I mean, I know that we are, since we were kids, we were told to always finish our food. Uh, I'm not saying that you should waste your food at all or to throw it away, but just whenever you feel full, just stop eating. So those were the five little changes that you can make to your everyday life that will make you feel so much better and can even help you start losing some weight. So I, I do want you to know that Losing weight is not just about going into a diet and doing this diet for a month and losing the 10 pounds and being really happy about that. I mean, that's great. But the most important thing about losing weight is maintaining the weight off. So in order to do that, you need to 
change your lifestyle a little bit. And these five little things, if you start making those changes in your lifestyle, it will become a little bit easier to start with the weight loss and to start with all of those um, things that come after. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.